Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Lineage OS 20 ROM based on Android 13 onto OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to download Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. As you could see, these are the files of platform tools folder. Once that is done, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, go to settings menu. Then you have to go to about device. Then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now in developer mode. So now go back, again go back. Now go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Once both the toggles have been enabled, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to the address bar of platform tools folder, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are now good to go ahead. So now you will have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all these data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, you could refer to my guide to get this job done. In short, you just have to boot your phone to fastboot mode and then use the fastboot flashing unlock command. Then use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, the bootloader will be unlocked. Once that is done, you will now have to get hold of the ROM file and along with that, some of its other files, which is the recovery file, vendor boot, DTBO, VB meta, and the super empty IMG as well. Yes, you will also have to flash this file as well. So you could simply go to this link and get hold of all the files. From here, you will have to download all the files. So download them and there are, are a total of six files as you could see. Five are the IMG files and the ROM file is in a zip format. So download all the six files. Once you have got all the six files, you will now have to transfer these six files inside the platform to folder on your PC. So let me do so as well. It will take only a few seconds. So let's transfer the file. I am again repeating. This is the boot IMG, DTBO IMG, the ROM zip file, then the super empty IMG, VB meta IMG and the vendor boot IMG. So these are the six files that you have to flash and keep in the platform to folder on your PC. Once that is done, you will now have to download G apps. It's completely optional. If you want Google apps, then download it from here. If you don't want, then simply skip it. In my case, I'm using mind the gaps G app packages. There are quite a few G app packages, but as of now with lineage OS, it's recommended to use mind the gaps. So this is what I'll be using. So if you want to flash it, then get it from my guide and also place the G app packages inside the same directory that is inside the platform tools folder. So let me do that as well. It will take only a few seconds, just a minute. So this is the GF package. Let's transfer it inside the platform to folder as well. So with this, we have got the file and let's now move ahead. So now you will have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. For that, open CMD window and type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now boot into fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds. Once that happens, we will then verify the connection as well and then proceed ahead with the flashing steps. So as you could see, we are now in the fast boot mode. Now type in fast boot devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fast boot drivers on your PC. For that, I have made a separate guide. You can refer to my guide and get this job done. Once you have installed the drivers, right click on the windows icon and select device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fast boot signifies that your PC is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So let's now get started with the flashing process. First and foremost, you will have to wipe the super partition using the super empty.img file. If you don't do so, then you will get an error message while doing a side load. So you will 
get an error applying update 7 if you don't wipe the super partition that is why it's extremely important to wipe the super partition using the super empty img file if you don't do so then you will get this error along with that you will also get error in side loading package zip so to fix this issue or rather to avoid that from happening let's flash this file as well so first and foremost let's flash and wipe the super empty partition so copy this command and simply paste it in the platform tools folder before starting just verify you have the files all the files are there so it's a boot imd dtbo the lineage os rom the optional g apps then super empty vb meta and vendor boot so we have all the files and you could now start the flashing process so first off let's copy this command and paste it in the cmd window so with this the wiping is done using the super empty img file next up we will have to flash the dtbo img file so let's do that as well after that you'll have to flash the vendor boot file so let's do that and once that is done you will then have to flash the vb meta file as well so let's copy the command and flash vb meta file once that is done you will now have to flash the lineage os recovery since our phone does not have a recovery partition therefore we'll be using the boot partition to flash the lineage os recovery the name of the recovery file is boot.img that is not a cause of any concern you could name it whatever you want just keep in mind to flash the recovery in the boot partition so once again simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window and with this the lineage os recovery will now be flashed in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait and it's now flashed once that is done you will now have to reboot your phone to the lineage os recovery so you could either use this command or use the volume keys to boot your phone to the lineage os recovery so as of now i use the command and our phone should now boot into the recovery in a matter of five seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and as you could see we are now inside the lineage os recovery once that is done our first course of action is to do a format data this will wipe off all the data from your phone so make sure you have taken a backup beforehand once that is done go to factory reset select format data factory reset and tap on format data this will wipe off all the data and once you have got the data wipe complete message you could now go back to the home screen so now our next course of action is to flash the lineage os rom file so for that we'll have to do the adb side load so go to apply update and select apply from adb let me show you apply from adb and with this our phone is now in the side load mode let's verify the same so type in adb devices and make sure that you are getting the side load keyword as you could see over here so we could now move ahead and flash the rom so for the ease of convenience let's rename the rom file to something shorter so let's say let's rename it to rom and the complete name becomes rom.zip so let's now side load this zip file so type in adb side load and the name of the file which is rom.zip and hit enter so the recovery will first verify the update package till it reaches the 47 percent mark once it reaches that mark it will then flash the rom and the entire process takes around four to five minutes so let's just wait for the flashing so guys the flashing is now complete and you will get a prompt to install additional package you need to reboot to recovery first so if you want to flash g apps or any other files then you will have to tap on yes however if you don't want to flash any other file if you don't want g apps then simply tap on no and your phone will then boot to the os so as of now i will show you how to flash the g apps as well so for flashing g apps we will have to reboot our phone to the recovery mode once again so i will tap on yes and our phone will reboot to the recovery mode on the other hand if you tap on no then your phone will then reboot to the os which is the lineage os rom so also keep in mind that you might get an adb fail to read, read command no error this is completely normal and nothing to worry about because it's stating no error so there is no error or issue as such it's just a false error message so simply ignore this anyway we are now back in the recovery and we could now flash the gf packages so once again make sure that you have transferred the gf packages inside the platform tools folder again for the ease of convenience let's rename the file to something shorter so let's just rename it to gapps and the complete name becomes gapps.zip so again go to apply update select apply from adb and we are now in the side load mode so let's now side load the gf packages so type in adb side load and the name of the file which is gapps.zip and hit enter 
and the side loading of GIF will now begin. It will first verify the package and at 47% you will get a prompt on your phone. Let me show you the prompt and explain you what that means. So as you could see, it's telling us that the signature verification has failed. Install anyway. So this will happen if you flash any file which is not a part of LineageOS family. In other words, if you fla flash any file which has not been developed by the Lineage OS developer. So you will get this warning. It's completely normal and nothing to worry about till the time you are sure that the file is trustworthy. So in our case, we are using a GApp packages, which is a trusted GApps. So there is no issue as such. So you may tap on yes. So if you flash any file, which is not a part of Lineage OS, you are bound to get this error message, whether it's the matches file or any file as such. <clears throat> so with that said, as you could see, the flashing is now complete and we have got the install complete with status zero. So this signifies that the GApps have now been flashed. Once that is done, you could not tap on reboot system now. So as I was saying, if you get a signature verification failed, you will get for all the files which have not been developed by the Lineage OS developers, whether it's the GApps, the Magisk or any custom mod as such. So if you are sure that the file is from a trusted source, which in our case, it was from a trusted source. So such as the GApp packages or whether it's the Magisk file, the official Ma Magisk. So you could easily install yes, tap on yes and install the fi file because it's trustworthy. On the other hand, if you're not sure, then, then you could tap on no. Anyways, as you could see, we are now in the boot animation of the Lineage OS. Do keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. From the subsequent time, it will not take that much longer. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll be back. And as you could see, we are now inside the OS. I'll be skipping the initial setup process and take you directly to the OS. Let me set up offline as of now and skip all the stuffs for now. And I'll skip this as well. If you want, you may take a restore right now, but I don't want to restore my data. So I'm skipping all the stuff. And with this, we are inside the Lineage OS 20 ROM based on Android 13. As you could see, this is the app drawer and this is the QS tiles and this is the settings menu. So as you might be aware, Lineage OS is a bare bone ROM with just the required feature set. So regarding the features, a few customization could be found in the wallpaper and style section. So from here, you could change the wallpaper and this is the Monet theme engine. As you might be aware, you could choose from the colors which correspond to the wallpapers. And okay, so on device wallpapers are around 12 wallpapers. You could then download additional as well. And then you could enable dark theme and enable theme icon as well. As you could see, it has been enabled. So apart from that, there are a few custom icons as well this time around, as you could see for the Wi-Fi icon, Bluetooth and all search you could choose from here. And all those icons will be changed in the upper tiles, notification panel. Then you have a few font styles, which you could choose from. And the, this is the icon shapes. And as you might be aware, these are just the normal features that we always behold. And this is the shortcut on the lock screen. You could have two shortcuts, the left and right shortcut and the app grid. Well, that's great to see because in the normal pixel, we cannot small the icons, make the icon smaller. So there are a few customizations in the wallpaper and style front. But apart from that, it's the basic pixel rather the lineage UI. In my case, I flashed the Google apps packages. That is why I'm having a few additional Google services as well. But in your case, if you haven't flashed it, then you will not get any such Google apps. And just to verify you once again, it's running the Android 13 on my OnePlus 9 Pro. And this is the build number as you could see. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.